Hello, beautiful people of YouTube. Yes, you. You are beautiful. I don't know why I'm feeling so sappy today, but I just felt like you should know that. Cool. Now that we've covered that, let's get into the video. This is my first video that doesn't fit into the beauty or fashion category. It is actually a lifestyle video. And let me just tell you, I'm so excited for this video, so you should be too. Today I'm going to recommend some of my favorite books and some books that I read recently to you guys for some awesome summer reading. So if you're not sure what book to read this summer or you just want to see some of my recommendations, then keep on watching. The first book that I'm going to talk about today is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. First of all, let me just say, how cool is the name Rainbow? Yeah. This book has, I think, been getting a lot of press lately. It's been very popular among young adult fiction books, but as a college student, I'm not really exposed to all of the popular young adult novels at the moment, so I actually just saw this at Barnes & Noble. I remember hearing bits and pieces about it, and I just bought it on a whim, and it turned out to be really amazing. This book is about two teenagers named Eleanor and Park. It is set in the 80s, and it's all about first love and falling in love. It happens on a school bus, and there are comic books and music, and it just makes me so happy. It really just reminds me how fresh and simple first love could be. It was a really sweet book, and I would highly recommend it to anyone that wants a really quick read. I read this book in two days, maybe? The next book I'm going to recommend is Every Day by David Levithan. And this is another book that I picked up on a whim at Barnes & Noble with Eleanor Park, actually. This is one of the most unique books I've ever read. And I've read a lot of books. I don't know if this one is as popular as Eleanor and Park. I have not heard as many people talking about this book. It is about a teenager named A who wakes up in a different body every day. It sounds really strange when I explain it like that. Its whole life, it has been waking up in a different person's life every single day. So every day, A has to get acclimated to the life that he or she, it, is in and can't really hold on to anything because he or she knows that they're not going to be in the same life the next day. I do not want to spoil anything, but this book is amazing. I loved it. Again, a super quick read. I read it in two or three days as well. Every chapter is so interesting and fresh because it's a whole new life. Highly, highly recommend this book. My next recommendation for a quick summer read is not a book, but an author. And I think an author that a lot of people are hesitant to start reading because she is very popular. She's one of those sort of serial authors who comes out with a new book almost every year. But her books are really good and, and she's Jodi Picoult. I think the name is actually pronounced Pico but I've been saying Picoult as long as I've been reading her. And I've been reading her books for about six years now, so just pronounce it however you want to pronounce it. I pulled these two books from my collection because these are two of my favorite of her books. It is 19 Minutes and House Rules. The thing that is so amazing about Jodi's books is that she has an amazing ability to really pull you in as a reader and you will not be able to let go of her books until you have finished the end. Which is saying something because they're all more than 500 pages. All of her books deal with very different subjects. 19 Minutes, for example, centers around a school shooting and House Rules centers around a boy who has high functioning autism. Very interesting subject matter. I would recommend just looking up all of her books and picking the one that has a topic that's most interesting to you and going from there. These two are some of my favorites along with The Pact which actually has a character that's also in this book and in Salem Falls and another one of my favorites is the one that's probably best known and that's My Sister's Keeper. Another author that's great for the summer is Jennifer Weiner. The book that I have of hers is Then Came You but she has a ton of books all super fun and summery. This one was not as fun as some of her other ones because it has to do with surrogacy, but it has a bunch of different characters, a bunch of different point of views, they're all women, and I love good book about women. Her books are just super fun, so if you go to the library and look up her books, you can't go wrong. This book for me is an oldie but a goodie, and it is Sarah Grian's Water for Elephants. You might have seen the movie of this book with Robert Pattinson and Reese Witherspoon, and 
I don't care what the haters say, I think Robert Pattinson is gorgeous. This book is so good. It's about a very old man who escapes from his nursing home to go to the circus while simultaneously telling the story of his younger self in the Great Depression when he quit school and joined the circus to tend the elephants. This book is just so interesting. I know when I say that it's about the circus, that sounds a little weird. I personally don't even like circuses, but I would have in the Great Depression. Actually, in the Great Depression, I probably wouldn't have liked anything. But this book's really good! Seriously, if you have not read this book, definitely pick it up. This book is one of the cutest books I've ever read, and that is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. When this book came out, it was recommended by John Green, who, if you don't know, wrote The Fault in Our Stars, and if you haven't read The Fault in Our Stars, first of all, what have you been doing with your life? Second of all, go to the library right now or the bookstore and read it now. It probably won't even be in the library because it's so popular right now, so pick it up and read it. Anyways, back to Anna and the French Kiss. This book is just so cute. You know when you read those books and they just make you insanely happy? That's how this book was for me. It's about a girl who for her last year of high school goes off to a boarding school in Paris and meets amazing people and does amazing things and it just makes me want to go to Paris and I cry because I'm not in Europe. This book has some similarities to Eleanor and Park in that it really makes you feel like you're in love and a teenager again and it's just so cute. If you just want a cute summer read, read this book. And the last recommendation that I have for you guys is The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson and its sequel, The Madness Underneath. This is actually the Shades of London series and it is about a girl who also goes to boarding school in Europe but she's in London while there is a Jack the Ripper copycat killer. It's really creepy and really interesting and I don't want to give too much away but I seriously loved this book. I read it so quick. I also read the sequel pretty quick. Not quite as quick because not as much happens plot-wise in this book, but a lot happens for character development, so it's still really good. Seriously amazing books. And again, maybe you want to go to Europe. So that is it for my book recommendations. If you're wondering what book I'm reading right now, I'm reading The Diviners by Libba Bray, and I'm actually doing a challenge for myself on Instagram, which is called 10 Summer Reads, hashtag 10 Summer Reads if you're looking it up, in which I'm trying to read 10 books by the end of the summer, which isn't that much, but it's a lot for me. Be sure to check that out on Instagram. And if you want to participate, it's not too late. We could maybe amend it to five books since it's almost July. If you want to read with me, I definitely recommend it. I am on my fifth book right now. This is number five. I've also read the Two Shades of London books, Every Day by David Levithan and Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. That's all I've got for you today, guys. If you have any book recommendations for me, please leave them down in the comments. And if you like this style of video, I can do more in-depth book reviews, any other type of book recommendation video, or TV show recommendation video, or movie recommendation video, or anything like that, be sure to leave them in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check me out on Twitter and Instagram and Tumblr and Pinterest and all the social media sites. And like this video if you liked it. And subscribe if you like me. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!